Triple E EDC back again with another knife video. Um, this is a comparison video between the Spyderco Meerkat and the Spyderco Dragonfly 2. So these are both sprint run versions of this knife. I'm not going to be comparing the steels because, frankly, it doesn't matter. Um, also, I will note that the Meerkat is sold out in a lot of places. I don't know if it's been discontinued, uh, but you do see them pop up from time to time, and I, they're similarly sized knives, so I thought it would be worth talking about. Uh, so I'll also be picking a winner. Uh, what would I prefer to carry? And I will also let you know ahead of time that uh, this knife was a gift from a viewer on the channel, so it does have a little bit of sentimental value. And so, you know, I, I'm trying not to let, let that cover, color my opinion, but I just wanted to be upfront about that, uh, about biases. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about uh, some of the good and the bad of these and, and where they, uh, how they stack up. So first of all, as far as slicing capability, the Dragonfly is going to be the clear winner there on slicing capability uh, and, and the blade. So the stock on this, it, the Dragonfly is just so thin. It's so thin. This is about the same stock as the bug out, and you know we already know how thin the bug out is. This thing is so thin, if you put it up next to a Paramilitary 2, the tip of the Paramilitary 2, so it's about as thin all the way through as the tip, just the tip of the, of the paramilitary two. That's how thin the dragonfly is. Really, really amazing uh, that they got it that thin. And, you know, the, the, that's going to, it makes it a just supremely good slicer. Okay. Now, as far as the overall blade shape, uh, the blade shape, I'm going to give this a draw because, frankly, or, oh, I'll get, I'll get a slight edge, actually, to the Dragonfly. I like this blade shape better on this knife. Uh, I don't think, you know, it, the knife needs to be particularly pointy for a knife this size, because they are small knives, just uh, if you want a size comparison. There's the param Paramilitary, too. It's much bigger than these knives. Even the Para 3 is much bigger than these knives. So these are both small knives. So I don't think that the, the extra pointiness of this one, um, as far as piercing capability, is really an, you know, a, uh, an upgrade, because what are you really piercing with a knife this size? Um, just my feeling on that. But as far as uh, just you know, the, the blade shape, I like this a little bit better, uh, because of the fact that it, it raises, it, it just has a good place to lock your thumb in, it raises a little bit higher, it, um, uh, it, it you know, it's shaped a little bit better for some of the things that I do. It's just, uh, I like the blade shape a little bit better on this. It's a lot of intangibles, I think, but the, uh, this one has jimping, this one doesn't. So if that matters to you, just something to be aware of. Um, but both of them will lock your hand in really good and you don't really need to worry about, um, about the jimping. Next thing, the locking mechanism on this. I'm going to hand the locking mechanism uh, win to the Meerkat. So this is stronger. This is a stronger locking mechanism. The back lock is a very strong uh, strong uh, locking mechanism, but this one's a lot more fun, okay? So this one has a sliding scale. You slide the scale down. See, look, slide the scale, right? push this down, and then when you pull it out, you can see that coming up, it slides the scale by itself as it pushes past the detent, locks in and slides back in. So it's a lot like the Magic 2. Whoops, knock the camera, because you got that auto goodness, because um, I've got the camera up close for these uh, smaller knives. But it's a lot like the sliding scale here on that Magic 2, and you know, it's just a nice thing to have on this Meerkat. So I really I really love the locking mechanism on the Meerkat. This is stronger, uh, though, if that matters to you. A knife this size, strength of a locking mechanism. Come on, guys, are you really hard using these things? Um, anyway, uh, ergonomics, uh, the Meerkat is going to win on ergonomics. And I covered this in my review of the Dragonfly, but the you can see just... The way your fingers fall into this. This is a, I have a large glove size hand, so on the half choil, my pointer finger, on the back end, my pinky, and the other two really fall exactly right in here where they need to be, and you really feel secure and locked in, despite this, you know, being a very small knife with a short blade, it, it feels really good in hand. 
This one, on the other hand, locked in again on the trail, locked in again on the back, but there's so much room over here, it feels awkward in your hand when you carry it. And I did a, this comparison in the other video where I put them choil to choil, and you can see the curvature is shorter on the, here, let's see, choil to choil, and the curvature is shorter on the meerkat because so you have less room for your fingers on the meerkat on the, for the middle two digits. And that helps you here because it, it spaces out your fingers the right way. So I think that's perfect. I think that somebody with a smaller hand on the, um, on the dragonfly could put all their fingers here, but this is really uncomfortable for me to do that. So ergonomics wins on that. The other reason ergonomics wins is it's thicker, more hand filling. So that is a huge plus for ergonomics. It's not as much of a huge plus for carry, um, which brings us to the next category, which is carry. Uh, the Dragonfly really wins the carry category, hands down, for a couple reasons. One is um, it's a lot less steel involved, as you can see, and it's also a lot thinner in both blade stock and handle. So this thing is significantly lighter, significantly lighter. Uh, to give you some perspective, a lot of you love how light the, the Benchmade Bugout is. So the Benchmade Bugout is normally, with the normal scales, this uh, this has aftermarket scales. With the normal scales, it's 1.9 ounces. With the CF Elite scales, it's 1.8 ounces. Uh, this is 1.2 ounces. So this is, you know, much lighter than a Bugout uh, proportionally. Obviously, it's smaller, but many many of you have carried a bug out and know how light that is. This is very light. So, uh, both in terms of lightness, both in terms of uh, thickness in the pocket, and in terms of uh, of overall size here, you can see, because these are about the same size, um, see, this is a little bit smaller than the Meerkat because the blade is taller on the Meerkat. But with all those factors considered, this is the much better carry. The Dragonfly is. As far as clips, they have the same wire clip, but as you can see, this is a tip up carry and this is a tip down carry. I have to criticize the Meerkat here for this tip down carry. Uh, on, a, on a knife this size, I hate to tip down carry. I don't mind tip down carry on other knives, uh, many of you guys have seen that I think it is preferable to tip down carry the Microtech SOCOM Elite, uh, and, and I think Microtech agrees, which is why they have the default, uh, or not the default, but the only way to carry it is tip down. But on this, uh, they're both um, uh, they're both uh, swap their front and left or right carry, uh, but again, this is tip tip down and this is tip up. Tip up just works on this type of knife, on this size knife. Tip down does not work at all, I think, on this style of knife. But they, they really had no option but to do tip uh, down on this knife because since the scales are, sliding scales are the mechanism, they can't put a clip there uh, because of that. Also, one other thing to note with respect to the clip, uh, because we're talking about lefties uh, when it's right or left hand carry, is that the natural motion on this is going to be to slide the scale uh, for right-handed use. For left-handed use, you'd have to get used to actuating with your middle finger probably, which frankly is not comfortable. Uh, so just you lefties out there know that this is not a comfortable open, or I'm sorry, cl a close, because the opening mechanism is, is okay for lefties right here. Uh, but it's not a comfortable close for lefties. All right, uh, I think that pretty much wraps it up for the differences between the two. I'm not gonna go through and, uh, and give you categories um, on you know, this number of categories or that number of categories and give a score, because I don't think those scores are accurate. A lot of times you'll add up a bunch of categories and at the end of the day, you know, some categories are weighted or, or should matter more than others, like ergonomics, for example. In my, in my mind, ergonomics and you know, usefulness of the blade are two of the most important things that you can have. If the carry is a little bit off, it's a little bit off. But if, the other, if those two are off, the knife sucks. So uh, frankly, 
I don't like the way that those are usually run. I just wanted to give you overall, you know, which knife beat which for certain things. Um, and one other thing to take note of, by the way, is the size of the spidey holes. Uh, I think this one's slightly larger on the Meerkat, not that it makes much of a difference. Neither one of these can really be spider flick comfortably uh, because of their size. All right, so which do I prefer overall? Uh, I'm gonna be honest here, I prefer the Meerkat overall. Um, but I also am going to be super honest here and tell you, I, pr I don't really, even though th this one was a gift, and even though I have this one, I've carried them because I, you know, need to review them, but I don't really, uh, small knives are not my jam. They're not my thing. I don't really carry them. So, you know, the only small knife I really carry, and this is a much bigger knife than these two, is the Benchmade proper, right? Uh, and so... You know, which do I prefer? Doesn't really matter, because I'm not a small knife guy. But if I was a small knife guy, I would prefer this one because the the ergonomics are much better and the blades are not that much different that I feel like it makes a huge enough difference. Uh, if extreme sliciness is your, is your thing and you're willing to give up a little ergonomics, obviously go with the uh, Dragonfly. Um, and also for weight saving, uh, you know, like I said, this is a lot lighter, but that's not... The way I view knives, just let, let me step back for a second. People want to do an ounce an inch, so, you know, they want four ounce, four inches for a... Uh, a four inch blade should be four ounces or less. That's not my thing, okay? If, if a thing is... If a knife is, you know, almost a pound, it's going to be too heavy, okay? But if a knife is six ounces or eight ounces, uh, I don't mind. Because most of the time I'm not feeling it in my pocket unless I'm wearing gym shorts. If I'm wearing gym shorts, okay, I can get wanting to carry a lighter knife. I carry a bug out, you know, but, uh, you know, so if you're wearing gym shorts, yes, this is gonna be the more comfortable knife. But for every other type of pants or shorts you might have, uh, especially if you're wearing a belt, the weight shouldn't matter. And, uh, and again, that's, that's where I'd pick up the Meerkat. So again, overall in conclusion, I like the Meerkat better, but if you're looking for a slicey blade uh, above all else, go with the Dragonfly. Thanks so much for watching. Hope this video is helpful for anyone who is considering buying one of these two knives and uh, help, will help you make your decision as to which one is right for you. Thanks so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you get all my content and like the video, drop a comment below. Let me know if you have carried either one of these and what you think of it. Thanks so much.